dear almighty God, my Father, the Father of my dear beloved brother, Jesus Christ. Dear Father, I have traveled all the way up and climbed all the way up this mountain in prayer for my beloved fellow countrymen that you, through your almighty hand, would reach out your hand to the people of Utah and help us and encourage us and inspire us to surround the state capitol in a peaceful, open carry protest and camp there overnight, forever, until hell freezes over or until we compel our Utah state legislators and governor to pass an exact facsimile of the Kentucky and Virginia resolutions by Thomas Jefferson and James Madison and augment them with an arrest provision so that our beloved country, our home country of Utah, one of 50 free, independent, and sovereign countries under God that form a more perfect union so that our country can incrementally state nullify all usurpations of power and all spending not delegated to them under Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, which are their only delegated powers, just a few more but not many in the Constitution, and that we can restore to our states and to ourselves, we the people, all other powers and spending, and also incrementally state nullify over a transitional period of time, my dear father, uh, unlawful income taxes and employer taxes in compliance with the many decisions of the Supreme Court of the United States, and that these do not apply to the American people because all powers and all spending not delegated to the U.S. government, to any Republicans, to any Democrats, to the President of the United States, to the Supreme Court, nor to the deep state of executive branch agencies that are explicitly prohibited from even existing, dear Father, pursuant to the law that you inspired. The, con the whole Constitution, the entire Bill of Rights, and most, most ex especially, dear Father, our ninth and most especially our 10th Amendment laws that we the people ordained and established upon the President of the United States, upon all Democrats and upon all Republicans and upon the Supreme Court to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, as it says directly and unambiguously in the preamble of the Constitution. And so, dear God, you ordained we the people in America with these powers and our states. For it says in Romans 13, 1 through 5, King James Version, that all power is ordained by you and according to the supreme law of these lands and of the union of 50 free independent and sovereign countries that we call states we the people are your rulers and your leaders over the president of the united states over all republicans democrats and even the deep state and and including over our judges and our da's Dear Father God, we need you to restore, to help us restore the rule of law through these laws that we want to have the Utah State Legislature sponsor and pass as soon as possible before the entire government structure that is nothing but held in absolute contempt of our laws that we ordained and established upon them 
They are destroying the U.S. dollar, our currency, which is not even our currency pursuant to the law. Our currency, according to the Constitution, is to be only gold and silver coin, God, the money that you made for us since Adam and Eve. So, dear Father, with that, I will blow your trump, the trump of God, also known as the shofar, that you might send the Holy Spirit among the people of Utah and inspire them as you inspired the Constitution itself, divinely inspired the Constitution, divinely inspire the people of Utah to join me and all true and faithful constitutional patriots in surrounding the state capitol in a peaceful assembly in an open carry protest and demonstration of your rulers, leaders, and higher powers pursuant to your scriptures, dear Father, under Romans 13, 1 through 5, King James Version, and in pursuant of the preamble of the Constitution, which clearly provides the facts and witness in black and white that we, the people, were ordained by you, dear Father, that we might be free and live in liberty, so blessed by you, in the name of my beloved brother, Jesus Christ, I so pray and honor you with this shofar and ask you to come down with the great power and might of the Holy Spirit and inspire us to do that which we need to do so that our state will do what Thomas Jefferson and James Madison said they are duty bound to do. And that is to state nullify every usurpation of power and spending not delegated to them under Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, pursuant to the supreme law of the land, the Tenth Amendment Law. To your honor, great Almighty Father, and the, uh, and the honor also of my beloved brother, Jesus Christ, I so call upon you with all my heart and all my soul from my beloved fellow countrymen in Utah. Amen.